Thank you so much for the invitation and for your kind words, Professor Francis. It's a real pleasure being here today and present at SAGES, uh, especially talking about this uh, fantastic project that I, I was very lucky I could organize. So I, I don't have any disclosures. Um, this is the kind of patient we are talking about. It's a stable patient who presents uh, at the emergency unit with extraluminal air, pericolic bubbles, but there is no distant air, there are no abscesses, there are no other conditions more than the extraluminal air. So as Professor Francis said, this um, talk is gonna be based on the results of this study. This is called the ADIFAS study, where the primary aim was to analyze the management of these patients, the management of patients with acute diverticulitis and pericolic free uh, gas. Uh, the secondary objective was to analyze the rate of treatment failure, including here readmissions, any kind of interventional procedure, or the rescue operative surgery. So we organized an international multicenter study with the support of the EAES. Um, we managed to include more than a thousand patients, but we had to exclu exclude some of them because there was a lack of follow-up or the presence of intra-abdominal abscesses when we were reviewing the CT scans, or in some cases, a bit of distant air. So out of a total of 810 patients, 744 were managed conservatively and 66 patients underwent initial surgery. So. We are gonna give a few recommendations based on the results of this study. And the first one is that these patients can be successfully treated by conservative therapy, 81% uh, of uh, success rate within the first year. And why is that? Well, if we compare both groups, the conservative management and the group of patients who underwent initial surgery, we can see that within the first year, there were no differences, sorry, there were no differences in the success rate, um, including here, sorry, in the failure uh, rate, including here readmissions, drainage, or any kind of surgery, as we said before. So this leads to a similar percentage of uh, success rate within conservative management or uh, the group of patients who underwent initial surgery. The second recommendation we can take out of this uh, study is that we should avoid surgery during the acute episode, obviously, when possible. Uh, why is that? Because emergency surgery usually leads to a higher percentage of Harman's procedures and has a high mortality rate. So out of the 66 patients who underwent this initial surgery, more than a half had an open procedure. Of them, only 42% had a primary anastomosis and more than a third had a Harman's intervention. Besides this, the, the rate of complications was actually quite high with 14% uh, of complications classified as uh, dindoclavin 3 or 4 and with a high mortality rate with 3%. And the length of hospital stay was 11 days for these kind of patients. So the third recommendation we can take out is that we as surgeons should probably update ourselves to uh, the newer classifications of the acute diverticulitis, such as the World Society of Emergency Surgery classification published in 2015. And we can say this because we have seen that surgeons are actually operating mainly based on the hinge classification that uh, are given to us with the report of the CT scan. So if we compare both the, the initial characteristic of both groups, the conservative group and the, and the group uh, with initial surgery, we can see that there are some differences in the univariate analysis, like procalcitonin or previous episodes of diverticulitis, free fluid on the CT scan, or even the hinge chase classification. However, when we perform a multivariate analysis, we can see that is mainly the hinges, the hinges classifications what we are making surgeons um, operating on these patients with an odds ratio of 12.5. We should not forget that the hinges classification was born in 1978 and it was based on intraoperative findings, but not on the CT scan findings. So unfortunately, this kind of patients we are talking about are not included in this classification. 
And because of this, a few years ago in 2015, the World Society of Emergency Surgery published a new classification, uh, which actually includes this kind of patients as complicated patients, classified as 1A. There are patients with uh, pericolic air bubbles or a small amount of pericolic fluid, but, but as we said before, without any kind of abscesses or distant air. And for the first time in 2020, um, they published some guidelines on what to do with these patients, um, but still they suggest a trial of non-operative treatment, but this is a weak recommendation because there were no um, evidence and not yet. So still there was no consensus. And our fourth recommendation is going to be that uh, patients with free fluid on the CT scan will probably need the closer observation during uh, the follow-up or during the admission, uh, because we have identified that the presence of, the free, of free fluid on the CT scan is a risk factor for failure of conservative management. So these patients may not be suitable for um, observation. Um, as we said, with the first multivariate analysis, we were looking for these factors that make surgeons uh, operate patients when they are admitted, and we said that Hinch's classification is, is uh, the main reason. But why is that? It's because they have a higher failure rate with conservative management. So in order to reply to this question, we have performed a second multivariate analysis, trying to find the risk factors for failure during the acute episode. And we can see here that in the univariate analysis, again, we can identify a few differences, procalcitonin in previous episodes of diverticulitis, or even the presence of free fluid on the CT scan. But when performing the multivariate analysis, the free fluid, the presence of free fluid on the CT scan is the only identified risk factor uh, as, a, as, a, as a failure of, of conservative management with an odds ratio close to five. So to summarize, we can say that the stable patient with acute diverticulitis and extra luminal air or pericolic bubbles can be successfully treated by conservative therapy. We should avoid surgery during the ac acute episode, obviously when possible. Uh, we should probably update ourselves to new classifications, such as the, w, the World Society of Emergency Surgery classification recently published. And we should keep an eye on these patients with free fluid on the CT scans when they may need closer observation during the admission. Thank you so much.